Hello and welcome to Bay One. This is Jafel Moraxi doing a uh, quick live stream for the uh, Legends of the Pit update or Hotfix 3. Um, there's not, well, actually, there's some surprising changes in this. So it's not anything that's really expected by the community at large, but it does actually have a significant impact on the gameplay. So, um,. You know, small little items like a New Zealand Hollow Flag has been added to the store, which is cool. Um, some balance changes to rail guns, especially for pit mode. Um, so rail guns and electro plates, they now automatically regenerate after you get a kill uh, in the pit, which makes it a little bit more stable than that. Um, the pilot seat or the standard pilot seat now has seven connection points. Now this is actually the one thing that is going to change the game a lot in terms of design functionality. So you'll see where you can have blocks connected to the side here. So you've got these little connection points here, around here. So you've now got a lot more redundancy in terms of where your pilot seat actually gets connected onto. So you're no longer relying on just the block here and the block here in terms of survivability. You've now got these blocks and these blocks on the side. So it gives you, it's going to change build and design philosophy a lot for these kinds of robots. Uh, it's also going to make Triforce in, in some ways a little bit more difficult uh, in terms, but it gives you more connections so that's never going to be a bad point um, how is that going to impact existing builds well let's take a look at uh, some of my more recent things I know how I haven't really streamed much recently but so now you see this robot you where I got blocks that aren't connected to the actual back there these are things that are going to have to be addressed so I'm not actually making the most of the available connection points so I'm going to have to go in here and see take this block and make that into a standard cube so I've actually got a connection point on the back and the same on these because we want to have all of these blocks filled uh, because it gives us much more survivability in the long term. I've also got connection points on the side there that are going to have to be modified and reinforced and rejig the design a little bit just to make sure everything is connected on where possible. So, pardon me, it is going to require some revisitation and uh, again with this one where I haven't got the back of the pilot seat connected to anything that's going to require some rework and especially with bots that are close to CPU cap that's that's not insignificant tasks so yeah that's a, a hidden thing that is going to definitely be some uh, not an absolute game changer but it's, it's going to cause a definite rethink for a lot of players um and yeah make more different builds and design viable as well so yeah i'm there's not many of my designs that i'm not going to have to go through and work out how i'm going to accommodate that change so yeah i mean i was taking advantage of the fact that you didn't need that bolt connected on so anyway um yeah, so that's one of the items. Uh, the lobby improvements. So games should now launch a lot more quickly. Um, I'm actually just going to go into a game using... Let's go and build and fix this one. Uh, yeah, so games should launch more quickly, which... Um, that's not bad at all. Um, and how did I even get those blocks connected on? I'm going to want to have a block like that. Um, I'm getting distracted here. We're trying to fix my robot. Um, uh, uh, I've been playing a different game for a few days, so it's completely thrown me off with all the key commands. <laughs> wow. Uh, anyway. Resume. There we go. Build. Bloody hell. Um... Okay, that's better. Um, yeah, the game should launch more quickly. Fix some bugs when uh, targeting robots at very close range. 
yes, I have definitely encountered that one. It's been very, very much frustrating. Um, uh, basically, point blank shooting someone at close range and your weapons just aren't tracking them. So it sucks. Uh, fix the blood showing wrong requirements for the pit, um, which that does definitely affect design challenges. Uh, fix the bug showing hollow flags in aim mode. Not sure I've seen that one, so. And then fix the bug causing text to cut to the next line. That's been a long standing issue where you may actually, if you go back through some of the videos, you'll see where text was wrapping onto the next line and it was either a font issue or something like that and you'd end up with one letter on the next line and it just looked ugly as hell and it's definitely a rendering issue or something but um, yeah hopefully they've got that fixed permanently now but we'll see uh, fix the bug causing players to spawn within their base while enemies are present in battle arena uh yes and i have experienced that one as well and it was surprising because i thought you weren't supposed to and it does mean that you basically get gimped every time you try and spawn in really really not fun um or well, ganked not gimped uh it's really not fun and i'm glad they've actually got that one sorted out um and fix the bug causing the hud to be reflected in build mode um okay i've uh, never seen that but okay well that's cool and I'm. What are we like on actual video time here? Do we have time to actually get into a game? I know it's not really fun watching the queue here, but okay, we're almost at seven minutes. I'm actually going to cut this off here. Thank you very much for 